company analysis now that is the fourth stage or the fourth component of geic analysis g is global e is economic i is industry and c is the company and i am sure you can very easily understand obviously uh, it is the company uh, which ultimately has to perform which which has to do well for it to attract good valuations attractive valuations agar globally everything is good economy wise everything is good industry wise also everything is good but if the management of the company is corrupt unscrupulous dishonest does not believe in ethics then despite the other three components uh, doing very well this company will not be able to attract very good valuations and that is what we need to understand and remember uh, there are many examples that can be given as to uh, how the companies can be managed badly and uh, so we have the example of uh, of uh, 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 vijay malya neeram modi mehul choksi now all the, the companies that they were managing uh, obviously uh, were very strong companies but because of their unethical practices and uh, attempt to uh, to defraud the companies uh, you know where uh, have they reached so that is what we to need to remember that company for it to attract good valuations uh, the management of the company and the companies uh, the top management uh, the promoters owners investors and everyone have to follow ethics have to follow values have to follow uh, a very positive and constructive vision which is for the purpose of value creation not only for themselves but for all the stakeholders including the nation and the nature now what are the tools for uh, company analysis so the tools for company analysis are number 1 study of company's background and its non financial information 